Uh, it's no small task to plan for a conference with the size and complexity of the MER. How do you do all that and address the natural concerns of your attendees for meeting safely? That's a great question. Uh, mm -hmm. The first part about being a no small task planning the MER conference, and uh, I acknowledge that for sure. But we have an extraordinary team. Been doing this for 30 years now. We have a great brand. We have a brand that brings people together and invites them to connect and uh, network with one another on all these IT issues. So that makes it really helpful as well. And, and that strong brand brings many, many speakers who are delighted to come to Indianapolis and speak live and in person. And also it's a magnet for the solution provider community as well. But you're right. How do we do this in a way that respects and honors the current situation? We have to do it responsibly and safely. And obviously, the last two years, our response to responsibly and safely was to go virtual. But this year, the world is evolving. The uh, public and private healthcare professionals know a whole lot more today than they did two years ago. The medical community knows a whole lot more today. And I think most importantly, Andy, we as individuals know a whole lot more today about our own health, our own vulnerabilities to this situation. And we know for ourselves how best to take care of ourselves and one another. I think the results of that, the proof is in the pudding. And I'd like to share screen for just a second and share with you a graphic from the CDC's own website. It's called their green, yellow, red graphic. And green is where uh, the good things are happening where infection rates are safe. And it's just a delightful picture to see that the place where we're going to be meeting is uh, in the green. The predominant cities where people are coming from, Chicago, Miami, New York, California, Texas, there's a lot of green on that map. And that really gives me a lot of enthusiasm and comfort in knowing that we're doing the right thing. So I think having individual data is important in knowing how to respond to it there.